Now, Glorilla has sold her soul to these demonic, dark secret societies and these Illuminati organizations. Let's get into her IG post and let's break it down. Now, Glorilla, as you can see in this picture, holding one eye, which represents the eye of Horus, and the triangle with the eye in it, representing the eye of Horus, which is on the back of the dollar bill, which represents the dark secret societies that run this world that we live in, okay? These are demonic forces that run the dark side of this world, like the Bible say, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Um, spiritual wickedness in high places, as people in high positions of authority that are doing wicked things and they're pushing these demonic agendas on our society. Now, in the industry, they will proposition you. Now, y'all know I work in the entertainment industry. I, I play celebrity bodyguard roles to the biggest celebrities in the game, okay? And I've been propositioned once with an email. They wanted me to become a masculine drag queen they wanted to pay me $10,000 to be a masculine drag queen. But that's how it starts out. Now, see, they will proposition you. And it's up to you to sign or not. That is your choice. Now, if you decide to sell your soul, that's your problem. Because Christ said, Jesus Christ said in, in the word of God, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose a soul. Some people will t give their soul over to the devil for earthly riches. When it says in Proverbs, for the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow to it. See, when God bless you, it's no catch to it. When the devil bless you, it's always tragedy. It's always a catch. It's always something horrible that comes behind it. It's always something wicked. It's always something evil when the devil bless you. Understand. Okay. Now, we see people selling their soul all the time, all the time, especially in this industry. And that's why I like people like Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, L Martin Lawrence, people who speak out against these dark demonic entities and these dark secret societies. There are um, celebrities like them who refuse to sell their soul to these people. And you don't have to. <laughs> they they give you they, they, they promise you wealth and riches and and and. And, and fame beyond your wildest dream with a tragic ending, with, with, with a demonic sacrifice, with something wicked. It's always something evil. It's always something bad behind it. But see, in our world, we want fast success. We want fast this, fast that. Instead of praying to God and asking the Lord to lead and guide us and open up doors for us and to use our platform, not only for our talent, but to be a blessing to this world. See, all our, pla all our platforms are for a reason, whether you're a celebrity, whether you're this, whether you're that. If you have a platform, it's for a purpose. You are, we are who we are for a purpose. And either you're using your purpose for godly, uh, how can I put it? You're either using your, 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 your platform for godly purposes or for wicked purposes. It's up to you. But we live in a dark world. A lot of people rather use their platforms for wicked purposes, for dark purposes, for selfish purposes. And that's not what we're called to do. And that's when the devil is getting our, getting our young people to sell their soul to these dark demonic entities. And I think it's really sad. Glorilla, let me tell you something. When you, when you sell your soul to these dark forces, you have to show everybody that you sold your soul. I'm going to say it again. When you make an oath with these dark entities and these dark societies, you have to let everybody know that you have showed it. And they do it through the, the demonic symbolism. That's why you see her doing covering one eye. That's why you see her getting a tattoo because she signed an oath. I have to let people know the oath that I've signed. That's part of the demonic agreement. All right. Part of the demonic agreement is to show. Is to show everybody that I have sold my soul to these dark secret societies. And it's sad. And 
in this industry, they like to use entertainment. I understand these dark forces are everywhere. They're in churches. They're in the Hebrew Israelite camps. They're in corporations. They're at jobs. These demonic forces and in, in, in spiritual wickedness in high places are everywhere. Understand, it's not just in Hollywood. But the devil likes using Hollywood because people are easily programmed through entertainment. So if I can program everyone through the entertainment industry, which is one of the biggest avenues to brainwash people with demonic symbolism, with, you know, foul behavior, with wicked behavior. If I can push this demonic stuff and use artists, celebrities, actors, that's what the enemy's going to do. And what he does, he uses money, wealth and success to entice them to sell their soul and to help push their demonic agenda. Either you're doing God's will or the devil's will. I choose to do God's will. Y'all can come at me all you want to because I work in the entertainment industry. You don't see me selling my soul and I never will. I'll continue to do, you know, be acting. I'll continue to be the celebrity bodyguards and television and movies. I'll continue to do whatever role I'm called to do, wealthy businessman, whatever the case may be. But I will never sell my soul because I understand the God that I serve, the almighty God, my Lord and Savior, his son, Jesus Christ, who died for the sins of humanity to deliver us from the dark side, to deliver us from the devil who gave us power over the enemy. OK, Christ gave us power over these dark entities. That's why I don't live in fear. I don't walk in fear when I have power through Christ. But some people choose to walk in darkness. This is what the Bible say. Men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds are evil. People love dark side. People love darkness because they like doing their dirt in dark. That's why most, most crimes happen at night. Because people like doing things in the dark. But the light reveals everything. It's up to you. Either you're going to be on the Lord's side or you're on the devil's side. We live in the last and evil days. And the enemy is trying to get as many people as he can. And he's using entertainment. And he's using entertainers. And he's using social media. He's using television to program and push these demonic agendas on our society. Me, as a God-fearing man, I'm here to expose the agenda. I'm your boy Zillionaire. I'm out of here.